Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Matt, here to show you how to set up your Verifone E285 Plus payment terminal, connect it to your network, and add it to your Lightspeed Restaurant O-Series back office. It's important that you only use the terminal supplied to you by Lightspeed, because any terminal obtained from a third party won't be configured for your account and could be a security risk. If you need more detailed troubleshooting or setup instructions, visit the link in the description for the Lightspeed Payments article on our Help Center. Before we get started, make sure you have everything you need. In the box you should find your E285 payment terminal, the terminal charging cable, and the SIM card. You will also need a screwdriver. By default, the E285 is configured for a Wi-Fi connection. To inquire about adding standalone mode on Wi-Fi or 4G to your account, please reach out to your account manager or one of our dedicated sales representatives. Before you can pair your E285 terminal with your Lightspeed account, you'll need to insert the SIM card that came with it. First, loosen the retaining screw on the back panel of the terminal. Then, slide the cover off, revealing the battery and the SIM card slot. Place the SIM card into its slot above the battery. Make sure it's secure. Then, slide the cover back on. Next, connect one end of the charging cable into the terminal, then connect the other end to any device or charger with a USB port, such as a computer or phone charger. Allow the device to charge for a minimum of four hours the first time it's plugged in. Now, we will turn the terminal on. Press and hold the green circle button. The terminal will then turn on. Give it some time to load up. You will then be prompted to connect your network. Tap connect on screen. Then tap the blue plus. You will now see a list of available networks. Tap your network and then use the keypad on the terminal to input your password. Once finished, Confirm by pressing the green circle button. After a moment, you will see a Wi-Fi symbol appear in the top left of the screen and your connected network will be listed on screen. Press the red X button on the keypad to return to the home screen. You will now be prompted to board your terminal. This connects your terminal to your Lightspeed Payments account and the K-Series back office. Tap Board Terminal. Your business information will appear on screen. Tap Confirm, and your terminal will begin updating. Give the terminal some time to run updates. This process could take up to 20 minutes, and your terminal may restart several times during the process. Once finished, your terminal will open up on the home screen with the Lightspeed logo on it. If you need to change your Wi-Fi connection or access any of the terminal's other settings, press 9 on the keypad, followed by the green circle button. You will then be prompted to input the admin code for your terminal. Lightspeed provided terminals use the admin code 5773. Type the code using the keypad and then press the green circle button to confirm. You will then have access to all of the terminal settings, including network and device info. To get started with enabling payments for Lightspeed O series, sign into your back office. Then go to integrations. Under the Discover panel, look for Lightspeed Payments. On this page, click Enable. After that, the remaining steps are completed on your POS register. Once you're in the POS, the pairing process is easy. Select the Menu button at the top of the screen. Then, go to Lightspeed Payments. The boarded terminals for your store will appear on this list. If any are missing or are not pairing properly, click the Refresh Terminal Info button at the bottom of the screen. Note that it can take up to 15 minutes from boarding a terminal for a device to appear in this list. If after 15 minutes you are still missing a terminal, contact our support team for assistance. Note that while more than one POS can pair to a payment terminal, only one payment terminal can be paired to a POS register. Select the correct terminal by comparing the serial number of the device with the one in the back office, and click the pair button. After that, the POS will pair to the terminal and confirm that it was successful. If it was not, contact our support team. Once done, close the menu. Now let's perform a test transaction with the terminal. Add items to an order and tap checkout. 
Then, tap Lightspeed Payments. Finally, your terminal will prompt you to add a tip. Select an amount or tap No Tip. Then swipe, insert, or tap your card. A confirmation message will appear on your terminal and your POS will confirm that the payment is approved. This means your terminal is set up and ready to process payments. Then, you can return the test transaction and refund the amount to your card. Assuming there is no remaining balance owing on the sale, the sale will close. This part may change depending on your configuration, but by default, the POS will ask if you need to email or print your receipt. The customer copy of the transaction data will be on this receipt, and close the sale. If the payment doesn't process, first confirm that your terminal and iPad are connected to the same network. If both devices are on the same Wi-Fi and you're still having issues processing payments, you may have a DNS connection issue. On your iPad, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and then tap the information icon next to your connected network. Scroll down to Configure DNS. If your DNS is set to automatic, switch it to manual. Now we'll edit your DNS servers. You should see two fields. If you only see one field, tap the Add Server button. In the first field, enter 8.8.8.8. In the second field, enter 8.8.4.4. This will ensure a secure connection between your POS and payment terminal. When you're done, make sure to tap Save. You are now ready to process payments for your customers. If you have any questions, view the links in the video description or visit our O-Series Help Center.